Hello, and to all of my subscribers and friends who live here in the United States, Happy Thanksgiving 2021. Hope it's been a great day for you all, and a thankful day. <laughs> um, lots to be thankful for, for me personally. And um, it was a great day with family. But um, not here to talk about that. But again, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in, here in the U.S. And people listening in other countries that aren't celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you're doing well. And uh, have a happy holiday season coming up with all sorts of holidays, depending on what you choose to celebrate and what you don't. But anyway, I have some additions to my collection to show you to tonight start with the vinyl and i have jeff mccormick in a way to thank for this because i saw him show this on a video of his recently it's a reissue of a album i had an og pressing of but i decided to upgrade it it's a walmart exclusive pressing of journey's 1982 album escape um, I really don't have to say much about this album, I don't think, because, um, everybody I'm listening, watching this, I'm sure is familiar with it, uh, two of the band's biggest hits are on this album. One of them, last I heard, was the most downloaded song since songs have been downloaded, and that's the song Don't Stop Believin'. comes with the sleeve that um, to replicate what came with the original record back in the day with pictures and lyrics and all that all of that goodness and this translucent vinyl uh, and this is a decent pressing of it. Um, at first, I was confused on what kind of what speed to play it on, but once I figured it out, it's a decent sounding pressing. A very good album from way back when. Now on to some CDs. Uh, the first CD is a fairly new release and it's something that I've been talking about showing on my channel for a couple of videos and now I finally get the chance to show UDO's Game Over with work and the holiday and all of that I've not had a chance to listen to this this just came into my possession yesterday But um, th thanks to Darcy at Six Strings, Nine Lives for getting me interested in UDO. I have their album previous to this, Steel Factory, that I enjoy. Of course, you know, no Udo Dirk Schneider from Tis Accept Days. Quite a few pages in this booklet, but here's picture of the band so looking forward to listening to the new UDO album these next three CDs are ones that I've been anticipating for quite a while and um, they're all by the same band recent reissues from Girder Music Rocks Records that group and this first one I'm going to show you, like I've said before, this was the first rock album I ever owned. This is the first time I've owned it on CD. Out of This World by Petra. Like with a lot of the other Christian releases that I've been getting from Girder lately that have been reissued on CD comes with these trading cards. 
booklet just has pretty much the lyrics and credits in it. Real no pictures to show you. But, um, yeah. Nice to have my first ever rock album on CD now. The next one is like three or four years after Not of This World. And it's the first one to feature vocalist John Schlitt, his debut with Petra. And this is, I think I might have had Back to the Street on CD previously. I honestly don't remember. But um, here I have it again. And the C, the trading card must have fallen out of the case because I don't see it in here. I am really glad to have this on CD and back in my collection. I only ever remember ordering, owning this on cassette too. The first four out of the first four of the Oh, four out of the first five tracks. I'll get my words out eventually. Four of the first five tracks on this album are some of Petra's best. And it's their album from 90 or 91, I believe it's 90, On Fire. Contains my all-time favorite Petra song, Hit You Where You Live, which is track two. Track three, Minefield, comes in a close second. Uh, the leadoff track, All Fired Up, is good. The song Defector is a, um underrated track. So I consider this, because of those first four tracks, four of the first five anyway, this to be my favorite Petra album. And the trading card for that. Going back to Not of This World for a second. And underrated tracks by Petra. My two favorite songs from this are track two, Bema Seat. Uh, that has one of the best guitar solos from Bob Hartman, I think, that I've heard. And track number eight, I believe. Pied Piper. I don't hear Petra fans talk about that track a lot. Again, a very underrated track. I, yeah, and a great guitar solo from Bob Hartman. Again, great lyrics from Bob Hartman on Pied Piper. The lyrics might be more relevant now than they were even in 1983. Uh, if you're interested to see what I'm talking about, the song's on YouTube if you don't have the album. Back to the Street, another underrated, overall I think it's an underrated album by fans. Uh, I'd say my favorite song on here is a song called Alter Ego, followed by another Crossroad, and probably the song Whole World. But I think Back to the Street is an underrated album. Um... Again, the debut with John Schlitt. It got me a little more interested in Petra than I'd become after discovering bands such as Striper, Bloodgood, and, you know, in the non-Christian sector, you know, Def Leppard, Whitesnake, all of that good stuff. But anyway, those are the additions to my collection. Finally had some time, it being a holiday shoot this video and again i want to wish everybody in the u.s a happy thanksgiving and everybody around the world a happy holiday season whatever holidays you just decide to celebrate this time of year and until i talk to you again enjoy the music <laughs>